guys, Dr. Connor Tobish here again for the fourth and final video of our nerve mobilization series. And in this last video, we're going to talk about a condition associated with nerve irritation down in the inner ankle known as tarsal tunnel syndrome. To find that bony tunnel, just find the big bone in your inner ankle, go down and back a little bit towards your heel, and you're right there. Within this bony tunnel lives a nerve known as our posterior tibial nerve. And just like all of these other nerve entrapment conditions we've talked about, if that nerve starts to get irritated, tension, and compressed in that tunnel, you're going to start to feel some symptoms. A lot of times that person will start to feel pain and paresthesia right there in the inner ankle at the tarsal tunnel, but more commonly, they'll actually start to feel a burning, painful sensation in the arch of the foot and the heel, so it basically mimics plantar fasciitis or a heel spur. Now, there's a really high correlation with overpronation of the foot and ankle in this condition. So if you don't know what overpronation is, you can give it a quick Google, but it's basically when we're taking steps in life, our ankle is starting to cave in to the inside. So obviously if we have that nerve running through there and it's caving in, that's gonna result in more tension and compression of that nerve. So next up, I'm gonna show you a simple test that you can do at home to determine if you're dealing with tarsal tunnel syndrome. The test that we're gonna look at today for tarsal tunnel syndrome is called the dorsiflexion eversion test, which is basically just naming the position that we're gonna put your ankle in to see, do you have symptoms coming from tarsal tunnel syndrome? So to get set up, it doesn't need to be this. You can have a stack of towels, a book, anything to put your outer foot on to where it's gonna tip your foot in into inversion. From there, we're basically gonna go into a calf stretch. So you'll take a step straight in front of you. So your foot is maintained in inversion, and now we're going into dorsiflexion. So from this position, you'll likely start to feel a stretch in your calf. You may even feel irritation down in the tarsal tunnel. We'll hold this position for 15 seconds. And if you start to get reproduction of pain and paresthesia in the tarsal tunnel or pain that refers into the arch of the foot or into the heel, there's a pretty good chance that your symptoms are coming from tarsal tunnel syndrome. First exercise we're gonna look at today for tarsal tunnel syndrome is gonna be a stretch for a muscle in the calf called the gastrocnemius. So to get set up, you're basically just gonna find a wall and go into kind of a split stance. You'll have your affected leg back. You're gonna to try to keep your foot pointing straight forward and keep your heel down. From here, you can put your hands on the wall and you are basically just going to lunge forward until you feel a good stretch in the back of your calf. Hold for one or two seconds, rinse and repeat. If you're going into this motion and it's just causing you pain at that area in your tarsal tunnel, you can turn your toe out slightly and repeat the same process, but that is our gastroc stretch for tarsal tunnel syndrome. We'll shoot for 10 reps of that three times per day. The next exercise we're gonna look at for tarsal tunnel syndrome is gonna be another stretch for a muscle in the back of the calf, but this will be specifically for the deeper muscle called the soleus. So to get set up, just find a wall. And for this one, instead of having your leg back, you're gonna have your affected foot forward and we'll try to get the forefoot up against the wall. From here, you'll get a slight bend in the knee and then we're just gonna be pushing the knee forward towards the wall, hold for a second or two, then you'll come back. You'll feel a good stretch in the back of the calf with this one. Shoot for 10 reps three times per day. All right guys, last exercise that we're gonna look at today for tarsal tunnel syndrome is gonna be a nerve floss for the posterior tibial nerve. And all you need is something that you can lay down on and something that you can wrap around your affected foot. That could be a belt, a towel, a rope, whatever works. But like I said, you're gonna start by laying down on your back and then whatever you've got, you'll wrap it around the end of your affected foot. Get set up on your back. Wrap this guy kind of around the end of your forefoot. Then from here, you're gonna have your toes pointed down and you're gonna basically use your strap to bring your knee up towards your chest. Then you'll pull on the strap to pull your toes up towards your face. Then you'll basically go back into the same starting position, point your toes down, rinse and repeat. Just like our other nerve flosses, we'll do that in sets of 10 and we'll do it twice each day. All right guys, thanks for watching and I hope these videos were helpful. If you've done the test and you've been doing all of your home rehab exercises and you just can't seem to get rid of your symptoms, we would love to help. Sometimes with these nerve entrapment problems, we need a little bit more help. We need to use some of the tools that we provide here in the office. Things like joint manipulation to restore movement to the joints upstream and other techniques like dry needling and active release technique to loosen up the muscles surrounding the nerve and allow the nerve to move more freely down its track. So if you need a little bit more help, give us a call at 406-862-2121 or find us online at whitefishchiropracticcenter.com to schedule your appointment today.